Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of our Epic 7 series, The Benchwarmers. A series where we may only use 3 star characters to clear the game's content, and everything else will be used as evolution fodder. Way back on our last arena video, we got this comment asking to see us go more in depth on how we build our teams and the thought process behind our attacks while we climb. So we thought we'd go a bit more in depth into that for this video. Man, 6 months, wow. College really saps your time away. I don't know if you're still out there, a G, but this one's for you and your grandkids, buddy. Before we get into the climb, we'll do a brief overview of the characters we're using, why we're using them, and how they work together. Just so I don't end up dropping a 30 minute video on you guys, I made these graphics so you can pause and read if you're interested. The main characters we'll be using throughout the climb are Doris, Carrot, Pearl Horizon, and Ruzid with these characters subbing in depending on the matchup. Glenn, Pylus, Penelope, and Carmen Rose. The basic combo of this team is, first we'll open with Ruzid's skill 3 to ensure we steal turn 1. Then, we pray he gives Carrot attack buff with Silver Rain, but it's not super important. It's pretty inconsistent so we've gotta level it up. Carrot strips the enemy team of any immunity with her skill 3 plus Iela Violin and applies her burns. Pearl will then AoE sleep the enemy team, apply a bit of damage, and CR push herself by 50%. Doris either boosts Pearl with her S3 to give her another turn, or she puts defense buff up on the team depending on the situation. Pearl will then try to snipe a unit or stun a key threat who is not slept. If we didn't manage to kill something with Pearl in the burns, chances are a couple things are close to dead, so we'll just finish them off on the next turn. Carrot and Pearl are both built pretty fat for DPS. They're designed to outlast the opponent's remaining units after we snipe one of their threats at the beginning. During your climb to Challenger, you're going to start seeing a lot of the scarier units, but you'll also see a lot of gaps in synergy, and they're often not going to be speed tuned or geared well enough to truly shine. So you have to learn how to take advantage of that. For example, in this fight, he's not brought nearly enough protection for that RB, so we'll slot in Glenn to deal with him, and after that, he has nothing left that can kill Pearl Horizon. I know that Seaside Bologna will most likely kill my Ruzid and Glenn even through element disadvantage, because they aren't very tanky. But all I need them to do is get rid of the RB, and then Pearl and Doris will win the match from there. This match also showcases how clutch of a unit Doris is, because without her there, there's a small chance I would lose if SSB managed to put a heal block on Pearl, but instead, they'll all focus their attacks on Doris due to element matchups, so even had that happened, I'd be able to recover. Next, we'll go through a typical page that I ran into while mid-climb and explain my thought process behind each team and why I decide to use what I use against them. This is a page from pretty high up in Master 2, so it should be a decent representation of what you can expect during your own climb. The first thing I notice when I look at the page is that the top option is probably trying to play a bulky counter set strat, but it has no reliable protection or means of contesting speed, so I can just bring Carrot and Carmen to burst down units and keep Rowana's revives off. I'll bring Doris as well just to have some sustain in case Ravi decides she has a 100% counter attack rate. The second option is a free win, because it doesn't have any synergy. Carrot might even be able to beat this team by herself, so it's not really worth showing. 
Master has a lot of options like this to take advantage of, where the teams are either not using very powerful units or they're using powerful units, but they don't have any synergy together. So even if you're losing some matches, it should be relatively easy to climb. The third option is relying too heavily on revives as their only means of protection. And they can't really escape from a lockdown strat once RB is gone, so I can bring a team built around Pearl and Glen. I doubt I'll need a healer here, so I just bring my typical damage squad with Ruzid. This team is very weak to lockdown once Glen takes out Arby, so I'm just going to go for sleeps with Pearl and Soulburn her skill 3 to bypass ML Ken and Ruel's resistance. The fourth option is trying to protect a single target Dark Nuker, so it's Doris food, because I can just pick their units off while they all wail on her. I bring Ruzid to ensure turn 1, my Iela Carrot to keep all of their buffs off, and Pearl to attempt a sleep snipe with Doris. Their Penelope actually survives the snipe attempt here and gets to stealth, because my stats are more inclined towards sustain, but I just switch targets and start picking them off. The final option has all of its units only awakened up to 5 star, so they're probably all 400 speed and they're baiting me to attack them so they can roll me. Well they better hope they're not bluffing, because I always fall for the bait. This team doesn't have adequate follow up to Ran, and it's pretty beefy looking, so I'm just gonna bring an egg cracking comp and take the first AoE to the face. We're gonna use Carrot and Carmen to take their buffs away, Pearl to lock them down, and then we let the Banshees run wild. And that is a full page of attacks. Climbing through Master is more intimidating for inexperienced players because you start to see teams of actually built characters, but hopefully watching the benchwarmers climb through it gives you a bit more confidence and insight into the process. We're a bit overgeared for Masters at this point because there was a period where all we did was idle farm when my semester ramped up, but the core principles and advice still apply. Plus, you know, we're only using 3 stars. Don't be afraid to lose matches learning your matchups and limit testing your team. I lost plenty of games while tweaking these teams to figure out what I wanted to do and what consistently worked. 
I'm sure it'll be the same during the climb to champion as well. Using only 3 stars is basically a whole new game. Thanks for watching everybody. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful. If you have any questions or just want to say hi, leave a comment because we always do our best to respond. Speaking of, if you'd like to see more matches from our climbs, just leave a comment to let us know. I tried to pick a few out to show rather than make a super long video, but if you guys want more, I'd be happy to post something up. Take care guys. Hope you've been enjoying your holidays. See you in the next one. Playing from joy. Are you kidding me?